Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion and we're going to go ahead with the installation of the IC Dock SSD HDD converter. If you didn't see the unboxing video, basically uh, it's, it stores two SSDs or two and a half inch uh, hard drives. We've chosen to use the Seagate Momentus XT with, the, with our testing and basically to open it just push the button and go ahead and open it. Um, we'll go ahead and place our drives in. It's fairly simple. First drive goes in the bottom and that's that one. Flip down the top shelf, grab your next drive, place that in, go ahead and close it. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a three and a half inch bay on top of my regular three and a half inch drive. It slides right in. So that again. It slides right into place. Take your two connectors. I have a SATA connector here. I have a power connector here. I'm going to go ahead and connect the power connector and then the SATA connector and we'll go ahead and turn the system on once the system's on we'll come back and we'll take a look at the monitor and I'll show you how to set that up as you can see it is activated because of the blue lights okay let's give it a second and we'll go ahead and take a look at how to actually set it up uh, via software right now I have it set up uh, this can be set up via hardware and basically what what will happen via hardware is you turn this knob here hit the reset button and then it then it'll go ahead and set whatever raid setting you want uh... there's four raid settings so depending on what you choose that's where you will be so let's wait till this computer boots up and then i'll go sh ahead and show you uh, how it works with the software Okay everyone, now that we have everything set up here, I have downloaded the software from the IC Doc site. And as you can see, it's the JMicron RAID Manager. And we'll go ahead and open that up. Basically, all you do is it, it'll show you your controllers. As you can see, it's showing the two Seagate Momentus XT drives. We'll go ahead and look at a few different uh, events that have occurred while I was setting it up. Uh, there are some warnings basically saying that I was deleting the RAID, etc. And then if you click the bottom button, you have your options. You have delete all RAID, which is on the bottom. Of course, I don't have this set up right now, so there is no RAID, so that of course is not going to be highlighted. We could set it to large. Large is basically a JBOD setup just a bunch of disks. You could set it up. You, could, you don't have to have the same size disks and it'll create a, an array for you to show it as one disk so you don't have multiple drive listings in your, uh, on your computer. We could set it up to RAID 1 or RAID 0. We'll go ahead and set it up to RAID 0 right now and click apply. It'll tell you that all your data will be lost. You click yes and this is just effortless. I mean it takes less than 10 to 15 seconds to set it up and now we're all set up in our RAID array with with RAID 0. We'll go ahead and close this out and we will bring up our device manager wrong button sorry bring up our device manager still not showing in there so what we'll do is we will go ahead and set that up via our control panel option and under system and security go to your administrative tools click on component manager storage disk management since it has a new array it'll pop it up it'll it'll assign it a disk number which have, in this case is disk 1 we'll go ahead and click OK if you can see on the bottom it says disk 1 is a total of 931.44 gigabytes remember these are two 500 gig, uh, gigabyte 
hard drive, so of course RAID 0 is going to make it the size of the two combined. We'll go ahead and right click on it, simple drive volume, click next, click next, click next again, and one more time, finish it up, it will format itself. Once it's finished formatting, of course it will bring you up a new volume display. Go ahead click off of that, and you're set up, you're done. It's very simple, very easy to use. Now if we were wanted to go ahead and delete that array, we'll go ahead and open that window again. We'll click the delete all RAID, click apply. Of course it's going to tell you your data will be lost. Click yes, and again effortlessly within about 10 seconds. It'll delete that RAID configuration, and you'll be ready to set it up again. Well everyone, that has been our quick look and installation and software look at the JMicron Hardware RAID Manager for the IC Doc HDD SDD controller. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Stay thirsty my friends. Bye bye.